Hi, Carol Ann Sherman here. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about how important it is to pay attention to your negative shapes when you paint, when you draw, whatever you're doing. Negative shapes are as important as your positive shapes. So there's something to keep an eye on. Sometimes when you start your design for a painting, I uh, am a little challenged when it comes to Photoshop, so I might decide to do things manually the good old-fashioned way. These are photographs of eyeglasses and some of them were just copies that I made of my own eyeglasses. Being an optician in a former life that I used to have, I have all kinds of very wild eyeglasses and I thought they would make very good subject matter. So as interesting as these are, I'm going to show you how to paint around the issue, so to speak. So I took this and I placed my images on here, cut them out, it's kind of cut and paste by hand, and I'm ready to go. I did a tracing of this on a piece of tracing paper. Took my tracing paper, laid it on my light box over a piece of Yupo. Oh, it'd be better if I do it that way. There we go. So this is my tracing from my tracing paper and we're ready to paint. And what I'm going to do today is take a little tube of neutral tint, watercolor. It's by Holbein. It's called neutral tint. That's its name. Put a little bit out. Very carefully, I'm going to take this inch and a half brush. I like this neutral tint because it's kind of got a bluish cast to it. Very carefully. Lay it on there like that. Oops. Slippery when wet. Okay, I'm going to take my sponge roller. This is simply a three inch sponge roller. And I'm going to flatten this out. Actually, I'm going to lay a tissue over it and lift it a little so we have some texture to it. Roll over it. This dries relatively quickly on the UPO. Because we're worried about the negative spaces in this particular exercise, I'm going to make sure everything is covered. If you see there are places that your UPO is not covering, you can always go back in. If you see there's a fingerprint like that and you want to fix it before you proceed, just simply you're ending up, you're ending up getting two, two lessons here and one. Go in there, just rub it out. And we can come right back over it and get rid of it that way. Now, I purposely left a white border down here so that I would have something to hold it by. Now, here's how we find your negative shapes. Go in. Remove the borders.
It's almost like magic. Okay, now this Yupo is probably, the paint's probably dry, but we're going to go in there and use a big size 20 cat's tongue. And what we're going to do is go in and pull out our positive images, leaving us with good negative shapes, which is what this is all about. I'm going to go in there with a brush with water on it. Think of shapes when you're doing something like this. Always try to think of shapes when you're creating a painting. It's really important to be a shape maker. Okay, let's take a fresh tissue, lay it flat on there, take a roller, we'll take a clean one this time, because we can. More water, and I can see my pencil marks, so all I'm doing is lifting out the eyeglass frames that I have drawn on there. I'm going to turn it. Get those temples, and you can really do this with any kind of a drawing. If you see that it's not lifting enough, go back in with more water. I'm going to use that brush. Let's use this one. Go back in with more water. Make sure that it's going to lift as much as you want to. You don't have to lift it all the way. You can lift part of it also, if that appeals to you. We're keeping in mind that we're looking for negative shapes, and we're painting around them with the water. Don't try to center everything right in the middle of your painting. Very good. Piece of tissue. Again, we're going to roll it, lift up that water and that paint that we've been working on. Go back. Clean up our edges once more. And you can see how your negative shapes are going to be as important to you as your positive shapes.
So in the future, keep that in mind. Keep painting. This is Carol Ann Sherman. Thanks for joining me. Keep an eye out for my future free art lessons. You can find me at carolannsherman.com or you can just look for me and you can Google me at Carol Ann Sherman Free Art Lessons. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.